Roth Capital Partners seeing problems in Tesla's broader lineup running the following note. The largest risk for Tesla as potential for delays or other complications of new vehicles. Cannibalization of Model S and X sales by Model 3 deliveries seems to be a material headwind, suggesting the upcoming Model Y launch might not be as market expanding as anticipated. I want to bring in the author of that note, Craig Irwin, Roth Capital Partners senior research analyst, recently downgrading the stock. Craig, I want to talk about that downgrade. It was before the earnings actually came out so frame it for our listeners if you can and our viewers what's the story yeah so uh, we had turned constructive um, slightly above uh, $200 a share uh, we felt that the the buy side was just way too bearish people were talking about extreme liquidity scenarios that we did not see playing out um, and if you look at the uh, $600 million in free cash this quarter looks like they probably could have squeaked through without the uh, the capital raise in the quarter um, you know we did turn constructive just, you know, a short number of weeks back. Uh, but coming into earnings, the stock had rallied so hard, we felt that uh, risk reward was really well priced, you know, in the, you know, $250 level about, um, and uh, felt that it was, it was right to communicate that. Craig, record deliveries for the quarter, and then a bigger deficit, margins coming down. And Model 3 seems to be the issue here, Craig. Should we just get used to lower margins? at Tesla, and are you convinced of the optimistic story at all that Elon Musk is trying to sell? So the answer, the simple answer to your question is yes. About 40% of the cost of their vehicles is the battery, and we've talked to many of the world's largest producers and buyers of lithium battery material, and they're all talking about battery price increases this year, somewhere in the 5 to 15% range. If you pick the midpoint, um, that's the reason that we've seen really the, the significant uh, deterioration in margins at Tesla over the course of the last year. You know, they had 50% sequential growth in unit deliveries in the second quarter and actually saw 30 basis points in margin erosion. Get used to it. Um, battery costs are high. There's a very little limited visibility on that coming down much uh, over the next, you know, several quarters. Hey, Craig, before we let you go, I've got to get your thoughts on the change at the top or at least near the top. The co-founder stepping to the side, becoming an advisor. Craig, how significant is that just in terms of day-to-day -day operations? You know, I think the quality of Tesla's engineering teams is superior. I think they have a wide bench of, uh, of individuals that can step in and, uh, and meet, the, uh, meet the demands of the CTO position. You know, I'm not worried about GD stepping to the side. He's done a great deal of uh, service to the company and, and to the EV industry as a whole. Um, and, uh, you know, if he wants to move on and do other things, I'm good with that.